I moved to Nacogdoches, Texas. None of you are from there. <laughs> it was here that my roommate invited me to my first tabletop role-playing game, Dungeons and Dragons. Or D&D. The idea behind tabletop role-playing games is that one person, known as the Game Master, will create an imaginary world full of characters and plots. Others play the role of the primary characters, usually fighters of some type, <laughs> and play in this world. Most games have a system of rules for interactions like stats and skills. You know, interactions like diplomatic or stabby. <laughs> when I was invited to play Dungeons and Dragons, I had a vision of a smoke-filled room lit only by candles. Dudes, lots of dudes, in dire need of a shower, talking in tongues and passing each other Cheetos. Because let's face it, at some point, most of us think that the kind of guys who play Dungeons and Dragons are the ones who argued with themselves in the back of literature class. <laughs> Including those of us who did. And I don't get along with myself. But being socially awkward and in college, I ran out of excuses and attended a game. And then something pretty remarkable happened. I found myself in a room with non-sociopathic people. <laughs> Except for one guy. And none of them spelled for that one guy. <laughs> but there's one in every group, right? So, you know, turned out just to be a group of broke college kids looking for a way to pass the time and have some fun. I made friends. I created an imaginary midget with a foul mouth that stabbed people, because that was the extent of my imagination as an 18-year-old. And at the end of the night, I rationalized that here in Nacogdoches, Texas, I had found the only people in the world who played these games I would ever like and my delusion held strong for about three months until I moved. Now, at first I hid my uh, love for these games from society, else I become that guy in literature class again. In fact, when my mom found out, I think it, she's sitting over there, um, <laughs> I think it took her about a month to decide that I was not some practitioner of the dark arts. <laughs> Didn't have a social stigma. But mostly I hid my love for these games because I was ashamed and I didn't want to get labeled as one of those kinds of people. <laughs> Plus, let me tell you how difficult it is to talk to single ladies about your wizard. <laughs> no matter how mighty his staff, they just don't get it. I like it or not, you know, did a little researching, found another play group, and with the exception of the guy who kept trying to stab me, me, not my character, me, this guy, um, they were pretty normal, and that was great until I moved a year later to Phoenix, Arizona. And this time I knew that I would never find anyone like this guy. You know, a rather dashing, no longer socially inept guy who loved tabletop role-playing games. Forget about it. And then I realized how much I needed to get over myself. Because, see, these games are fun. Yeah, that's one thing, that, that's a big thing. But like it or not, somehow in creating imaginary people and imaginary worlds, I had evolved who I was. I am one of those people, and I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm also completely unable to hide my passion. Point in case, Ignite Phoenix. <laughs> However, as I started meeting new people and just telling them about this silly, nerdy game I played, I found out that I wasn't scaring them away. Not all of them, at least. <laughs> but rather, some were taking an interest in my passion and wanting to know more about what got me so excited. And I realized that for the first time, I wasn't searching for a new group. I was making my own, with no one to stab me. <laughs> that was important. About a year ago, I saw Diane Gabladon, author of the Outlander series. Ladies here, please. <laughs> at a writer's conference, and she said, you do not create new characters. Instead, you peel back layers of yourself to find them. And I'm in the back like, I get it, I'm a writer. I mean, I may not be a successful writer, but my hobby of creating worlds and people has helped me understand myself, grow in confidence, and make friends all over the place out there. All while questing to slay a dragon. It's my therapy with imaginary swords. So, if you're interested in learning more about tabletop role-playing games, or just geeking out with me after Ignite, find me. After all, it's dangerous to go alone, right? Thank you.